Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back on my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you another aesthetic notes video. But instead of making it on OneNote or Microsoft Word, by the way, if you haven't watched those, I will just link it on the description box. So today, I will give you some ideas on how you can make aesthetic notes in Google Docs. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So first is open Google Docs on the web, then click on the blank template. So here I search for colorhunt.com to look for some color palettes. And the good thing here also is that you can create your own palette. So I'm just gonna choose one from the available and you can save it. So here in Pinterest, you can find some photos or inspo to make your notes aesthetic. So you can save some images here and place it on your Google Docs. So for the page setup, you can also edit it. So you can change the orientation, paper size, color, and margins. So since I want to print my notes on a B5 size paper, I will change the paper size option. Or you can leave it as it is if you are satisfied with the default options. So since I will print this on a loose leaf paper, I will change the margins. So if you're using a B5 loose leaf paper, then you can follow this one. So after that, just click OK. Now I'm gonna take my notes so you can input your notes from your teacher's discussion or from your PowerPoint. So here I just make notes from our ebook. In doing your notes or reviewer, summarize them and just include those important ones. Google Docs also have this feature of voice typing on which you can easily dictate what you want to include in your notes. So I'm just gonna delete this one since I don't need it anymore. So you can also make a sentence or word as a title or a header so that you can easily locate it on your notes. And you can just click it on the left side panel of Google Docs in this part. Then you can now include your notes. So here I just finished encoding my notes and we will now modify it or making it more aesthetically pleasing. So as I told you earlier, if the words or sentences are in the title or header form, they will appear on the side on which you can easily locate them. So next, click the insert tab and on the drawing option, click new. So here I will include a shape. So I'm just gonna make a rectangle. So you can change its color and pick from the choices or you can make a custom one. So I'm just gonna copy the color code from Color Hunt, then paste it here. So after that, click OK. So I'm just gonna change the border to transparent. But if you want to have a border, then you can choose any color or leave it as it is. I will then repeat it on the other shape. And after that, click save and close. So here I will change the font of the title to Fredoka1. So change I will also change the font size. So just stay tuned up until the end because I will show you what fonts I use on my notes. So I'm just gonna adjust the shape and the text. And I'm gonna copy the shape, then place it on the other side. So now I will change the font color of the text. So I'm gonna base them on the palette I chose from the color hand and adjust them a little. So I will include a link to the color hand in the description box so you can check it out. Now we will highlight those terms and key points. So I usually use a yellow highlighter on the terms, but you can pick any color you want. Yep. 
So you can also change the bullets, so just highlight those. And on the format tab, under the bullets and numbering option, you can choose there a bullet design and you can also resize them if you want. So for the key points or definitions, I use a pastel green. And here now I decided to make a shape to include this equation. So first copy it, then add a new drawing. I will include first a text box to paste the equation, then I'm gonna add a shape. So I just changed the color of the shape, then copy pasted another shape and changed the color. So next I'm gonna include another text box. So if your text happens to be at the back of the shape, you can fix it by clicking the shape, then click the control key and the arrow key on your keyboard. So edit the font size and color, and if you're happy with it, click save. So you can also insert some photos on your Google Docs. You can upload one from your device or search in the web. If you already pick a photo, just click insert. Then you can also adjust the size and it's placing on the document. So I'm just gonna delete it since I don't need that. And here are the fonts I use in Google Docs. So you can find fonts from the More Fonts options at the top and pick your desired fonts. And these are some of my ideas on how to make your notes aesthetic in Google Docs. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. Yes, thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!